You know what's nastier than Flurry of Arrows? Flurry of Arrows with Super Armor and a Knockdown on successful hit. It goes from having 3 charges and a 16 second cooldown to 2 charges and a 6 second cooldown, which is 5 more charges over the course of a minute. The damage increase goes from 465 to 1,266%. That's an 800% increase. Super Armor and Knockdown on Flurry of Arrows? Oh my god. What is Ascension? How does Ascension work? Can you swap from Ascension to Awakening at a later time when that option becomes available? I'm going to cover all that and more the Ranger Ascension skills in this video. If this is your first time to my channel, you're missing out. Make sure you check out that description down below for some additional badass Black Desert mobile content. You won't be disappointed. Before we get into the material, I want to talk about Black Desert Mobile official English and global community. This is not supported directly by Pearl Abyss and Black Desert Mobile. It is a third-party Facebook community. However, they do have 20,000 members. They're super active. They have giveaways pretty regularly. I went over and checked them out for a little while. They seem pretty legit. They did give me 100 Black Pearls to give away to you guys. They do run events uh, throughout the month, 50 Black Pearls here. If you do certain tasks, take screenshots in the game. So it's a very active community. It's pretty cool. Uh, I will link them in the description down below. So head over there and check them out. Now they gave me two 50 uh, Black Pearls to give out. I will give you guys a secret code at the end of this video. Make sure you hit the like button as well as leave the comment with that secret code at a down below. I will announce the two winners next week, March 3rd's uh, Patch Notes video. They did give me both these 50 uh, Black Pearls. They said I could use one to show you guys, but I figured to give them both you guys to help out the community and to help out my fans. With that being said, let's dive right in. So what is Ascension? Ascension is essentially an upgrade to 9 to 10 of your skills. It does remove some of your skills. It keeps pretty much the core of the skills for most classes. You do have to be level 60 in order to uh, unlock Ascension. It does make you go through a little bit of a chain quest, as well as do a little bit of a Tomb Raider side dungeon. Here's the dungeon that you have to do. It's pretty cool. It's a little small. There is fire spikes here and there. They're shooting arrows. There is small little, smaller little objectives you have to, to accomplish. At the end of it, it does make you fight the version of yourself, Ascension or Awakening, depending on whichever class you go with. And then after that, it does unlock the Ascension. It gives you four skills initially. After those four skills, you do have to complete some quests in order to unlock that next skill. Each quest has you kill a certain set of mobs, whether it's 4,000 or 2,500, as well as doing either a guild boss rush or kill world bosses. Let's say you choose Ascension now, but want to go to Awakening later. You will have that option. It does cost 100 million silver per character. So, and it, once you buy it on that one character, you can't change it to another character. So make sure you spend your silver wisely and choose the correct class. That covers how to ascend, what it looks like, how to change it after the fact in case you want to go to Awakening. Next, I'm going to show you what ascension looks like on a ranger. So a, an ascended ranger is a hunter. First, I'm going to cover the skills that we lose when you ascend, and then I'm going to cover the skills that you keep. I'm going to uh, calculate the increase in damage and show you what they do as far as cooldown time changes, changes in knockdowns, knockups, uh, stuns, binds, all that jazz. The first skill that we lose when we ascend is Spin Kick. No good ranger used this skill anyways, so it can be gone. The next skill that we lose is Evasive Maneuver. No good ranger used that skill either. Goodbye. Tearing arrow. Sometimes you could use it for PvE. Occasionally I could see that the case, but not necessarily needed. Goodbye. And the last skill that we lose is dagger of protection. No good ranger used that either. Goodbye. So we lost four skills that were barely used. The only good argument there could be tearing arrow. The first skill that gets a buff is True Shot. True Shot goes from 3 charges every 4.1 seconds to 2 charges every 4 seconds. So essentially you're getting, you're getting one more charge over the course of a minute. The damage increase goes from 320% to 560%, which is a 240% damage increase for True Shot. That is a pretty substantial damage. That is a great AoE PvE grinding skill. 
The next skill gets a major overhaul, Will of the Wind. Will of the Wind gets now super armor. It applies knockback on first hit. You can use it while moving. You go from four charges to three charges, so you do lose one initial charge. The cooldown time goes from 5.6 to 5.0, which is a little bit less than one, or a little bit, you get one charge every three minutes, one additional charge every three minutes then. The damage increase goes from 210% to 990%. That's a 780% increase for Will of the Wind. Razor Wind, the next skill, gets another major overhaul. It now also has super armor. It still has a knockdown on the last hit. You get one charge every 23.3 seconds. Previously, now you get one charge every 6 seconds. That's 7.5 more charges per minute. And the damage goes from 595% to 1,734%. That's a 1,140% damage increase for Razor Wind. That is crazy. You know what's nastier than Flurry of Arrows? Flurry of Arrows with super armor and a knockdown on successful hit. It goes from having three charges in a 16 second cooldown to two charges in a six second cooldown, which is five more charges over the course of a minute. The damage increase goes from 465 to 1,266%. That's an 800% increase. Super armor and knockdown of Flurry of Arrows? Oh my god. Blasting Gust with another overhaul. Blasting Gust used to knock the target down. Now it stuns the target. You can use this ability while moving. It does also grant you super armor while you use this ability. They used to have four charges with an eight point second or six second cooldown. Now you get three charges with a five second cooldown time. That's four more charges per minute. The damage increase goes from 226% to 780% damage. That's a 554% increase for Blasting Gust. Evasive Explosive Shot with the overhaul. I'm just kidding. It actually got a nerf. So this ability actually did get a 2 second cooldown time reduction. Going from 8 seconds to 10 seconds. It did increase its damage by 50%. It still does stun the target. And you still get those iframes. But aside from that, it actually got a minor nerf. Spin Blade got a buff as well. It had 1 charge every 5 seconds. To having uh, every 6 seconds now. So you get 2 less per minute. Uh, it does go increase its damage from 385% to 810%, which is a 425% increase. It still does stun the target, and now it uses 10 MP. Instead, previously it did not, now it uses MP. So I know there is some ranges out there that use Spinning Blade. Uh, so it does have a damage increase. You do get 2 less per minute, and it uses MP now. Spinning Shot with another major overhaul. It actually kind of switched places with Blasting Gust. It actually, instead of stuns the targets, now it knocks the target back. It also went from having three charges with an 8.3 second cooldown time to two charges on a six second cooldown time, which is giving you two more charges per minute. The damage went from 226% to 1,350%. That's an 1,124% increase on the damage up increase on Spinning Shot. That is nuts. The last skill with a major update is Piercing Arrow. Piercing Arrow gave you two charges with a 21.5 second cooldown time to one charge on an 8 second cooldown time, which is 2.71 more per minute. It also inflicts a bound on successful hit. It kind of actually pulls the target towards you, and then after on the last hit, it knocks that target down. So it binds them, pulls them towards you, and then knock down on last hit. It is a crazy skill. It's definitely got an upgrade. I love it. The damage goes from 595% to 2,184%, with a 1,589% increase on damage to Piercing Arrow. Aside from Descending Arrow, this is going to be the second heaviest hitting ability for a Hunter slash an Ascended Ranger. Uh, combine it with that pull towards you, in and a knockdown, and then it does all that damage, and then right after that you can hit him with a descending arrow, that's just game over. Especially with the new overhaul to the other skills, it's just wild. Rangers do keep their heal. It currently has a one charge every 28.6 seconds. It goes to having one charge every 120 seconds, so it does have a drastically longer cooldown time on that heal. Last, but definitely not least, descending arrows 
I don't have it unlocked yet, unfortunately, so I can't tell you a comparison as far as charges and damage difference. However, you do keep it as a hunter. So that is the hunter class. That is the hunter uh, skills. The increase in charges and damages for a hunter. I did get accepted into Black Desert Mobile and Pearl Abyss's partner program, so that is awesome. So you will be able to see my partner code in upcoming videos and in-game, and you can tie that to any new adventure, can tie that to any purchase. Uh, that is going to tie us to the Black Pearls. So at the beginning of the video, I said you had a chance to win 50 Black Pearls. So two people have a chance to win this. The secret code is partner p-a-r-t-n-e-r -E make sure you subscribe hit that like button on this video and leave that comment down below for your chance to win those black pearls i will announce that winner on march 3rd patch notes update video so make sure you stay tuned for that without further ado i will see you next time